uh, late night workout in deadlifts it's like a lower back and legs type of workout so we're gonna do deadlifts then probably rack pulls then probably something for hamstrings some other leg exercise and then finish with calves that'll be the workout so nice little deadlift deadlift session i don't deadlift i'm like a beginner deadlifter and i don't even know if i'm gonna continue deadlifting after this or not or how far i'll go with it but we're gonna try out conventional i did sumo last time hated it we're gonna try conventional today i don't even really know how to deadlift so i'm trying to figure out how to warm up for it maybe like some body weight squats light bent over rows something like that and I'll get into the deadlifts. thinking about attempting 405. If anything doesn't feel right at all, I'm just gonna stop. I don't really know how good my grip strength is because barbells kind of roll out of your hand. I don't have chalk or anything. I'm gonna try it without straps. We'll see how this goes. If I fail, I really don't care because when the first time I ever deadlifted, I got 405, but I had straps on. So we're gonna try it with no straps. I won't be surprised if I don't have the grip strength so I'm not used to this yet. grip weaken a little but it wasn't bad no no need to go any heavier than that since I haven't been deadlifting really ever maybe I'll go heavier next time I don't know we'll see how how it feels in the next couple days see if it's worth continuing deadlifting or not I could probably get that deadlift up pretty heavy if I continued but I don't know if it's actually worth it or not and it's not deadlifting isn't something that like I've always cared about, like I've never really cared about deadlifting. So depending on how it feels, we'll see if I wanna keep doing it or not. I was gonna rack pull, but I don't see any point in rack pulling after that. I'm gonna do some hamstrings. So I'm gonna do my version of standing cable hamstring curls. So you'll, you'll see how I do that. Keep your 
your thigh straight up and down and then curl just like biceps. Feel great, these are amazing. I'll show you one more set. I'm gonna do a total of four sets. I'm gonna try and add 10 pounds each time. Uh, since I have the, the plate loaded cables, uh, I'm gonna add five on each side each time. So a little heavier, a little bit less reps. First set, 15. Probably be getting around 10 for the second set, or 12 for the second set, probably 10 for the third, maybe only eight for the final set. So. I'm just gonna show you just one leg and I'm just gonna show you, that was the first set, now I'll show the last set. These are great if you can get some uh, ankle straps, whatever these things are called. They're great if you wanna hit glutes, you wanna hit like that side part of your leg, you can do exercises for that with these two, or hamstring standing raises like I'm doing. These feel really good, basically like a cable curl, like you're doing biceps, but it's for your triceps, so really great exercise. do some like all I'm gonna do all my reps on my left leg because it's my weak leg and then all my reps on my right leg my legs are already a little bit sore still so I'm not trying to do anything crazy I'm just gonna do like a 45 probably go for like four sets of around 10 reps and since I'm already sore from my last leg day still that should be enough and then I'll go on to calves That'll definitely keep that leg day soreness going for a few more days. Probably be feeling 100% right before next leg day. This isn't like a true leg day, but I still get some leg work in, but that other leg day is like a true leg day. All I got left is calf raises, which I wanna do with my legs straight since I did seated with my knees bent last time. So I'm gonna do them on the leg press probably gonna do, I don't even know how many sets, but I'll probably try and go a little heavier each set, switch up my tempos, you know, holds, slow negative hold, faster reps, partial reps, whatever I wanna do. And then after that, I think I'm gonna do like a dead hang, see how long I can dead hang. 
It's good for your grip strength. It's also good for stretching out your upper body and decompressing your back. So I'll show like a set of calf raises and I'll do those dead hangs and that'll probably be the workout. Gonna end the video with some uh, dead hangs to failure. I think that's what you call them. See how long I can do it. Get that back decompressed and stretched out. And that'll be it.